it seems to have come a couple of weeks early, but my PDP-1134 has an Easter egg. Now I've also got an 1104. I've done videos on the repair work I've done on both of these machines. And an 1104 and a 34 are basically identical, except that they have different CPU boards. And I haven't even begun to play with CPU boards yet. I'm still knocking around with the M7859 console interface and the just the Terminator card. And of course, you can't do very much with that. But one thing you can do is play with the switch register. So let's do that. Turn it on. Clear. I can enter a value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, load into the switch register, which is actually a memory location that's implemented on this board, along with the address decoder needed to select it. So I'll put in that address of the switch register, which is 777-570, load address, and then examine that location, and back comes the value I just put in. That's about all you can do. Now, when I repaired these things, I replaced electrolytic capacitors in both power supplies, and that was pretty much all the 1134 needed. But the 04 had multiple issues. There was a fault in the console, a couple of faults on the interface board, and even a fault on the terminator card. And solving the issues with the M7859 took quite a bit of effort. I had to delve quite deeply into how that thing works and in the process I learnt quite a lot. Check this. If I go control to one simultaneously nothing happens. But if I bounce the power Easter egg. Now, it'll do its little dance, and when it finishes that, it's back to normal operation. I can put in a value. Then the switch register address. Oh, sorry, load switch register. 777-570, load address, examine, and back comes the value. Let's, let's watch it again. Easter egg and back to normal operation. Now the 1104 does not do this but this machine has the later version of the M7859 board, the one with these two extra chips here. Now, could that have something to do with it? Now if I press this time control to zero and bounce the power. Go straight to normal operation. So, isn't that fascinating? I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you later. Oh, and happy Easter.